2019 Chevy Silverado. As you can see, there's a new condenser in here, a front end accident, lost its refrigerant. Um, oh, shoot. I didn't look up uh, the refrigerant oil quantity for you guys. I was gonna tell you how much oil I was about to put in oil. Let's go into SciTech and we'll go over to SciTech and we'll look up the oil. Cause I, I already uh, opened it up. Error, I don't wanna hear there's an error, no error. Okay, it's not signed into my phone. Where's my phone? Get me out of there. Get me over in my phone, in my settings. Yeah, uh, there's my phone. Hook up my phone. Okay, I think it's hooked up. Join, yeah, okay. I think I'm hooked. Yeah, it's locked. So now let's go into SciTech. So SciTech, this will look up our... Uh... Oh, God dang it, I don't want that because I have my gloves on. Hold on guys, I gotta put on a phone. Yeah. That's the problem when you're holding a phone and a camera and ask for your thumb pin and you have gloves on. So there it is, the Silverado. And we'll come down here to the tools. And this will jump us right into AC specifications, AC specifications. Now it'll serve. Come on, go. And our refrigerant oil, it's PEG oil. It doesn't give you the viscosity or the trade name. It tells you it's one uh, 1234 refrigerant. Air conditioning refrigerant condenser capacity only one ounce, even though this has a real big it's not long. Well, it's kind of long, but if you look at the size of this thing, it's like a two inch receiver on there, it has a wide receiver, smaller condenser than I thought it would normally have. Uh, so 30 milliliters, plus it was punctured and it lost to the air. So I'm gonna say a few extra milliliters for that. So I'm put down 45 milliliters in here for my guessing on what was lost from leakage plus the 30 from uh replacing with a new condenser that has a receiver dryer desiccant on the side because it says 30 right here uh air conditioning evaporator they say 30 air conditioning refrigeration oil oh the whole entire system capacity is only 3.3 ounces very small capacity system inside here 600 grams of refrigerant and this was using CYTK. Uh, you can download this on uh, your phone, Android or Apple. And if you go to them, put in my, what's the name of my damn thing? Lech Air, L-E-C-H, like L-E-C-H, and then Air, all one word, all capitals. Um, I get a one month discount. So if you wanna do something like that, but you can just do it for free for a 30 day trial and just give it a trial and you can look for this information on, it gives you hours and everything. I've done videos on this before, I don't have time right now, but let's get this oil in there right now. So as you see, I have the oil injection cylinder right here and I have the dye and the oil inside it. I'm ready to put it inside. But normally I would never put this much oil, 45 milliliters, just before the compressor because that's a big slug of oil and it's possible you could damage the compressor. But I would normally, if it was regular, on this one, I would do it in the liquid and not the vapor. But on this one, even though there's not an accumulator, there is a muffler. Let's see if you can see it. Can you see that muffler right there above? There's a the clutch. There's the muffler, that big round thing that looks like a little big can. Because there's a muffler in there, my oil will drop into the muffler. And then the muffler has separate chambers that doesn't let the oil go directly to the compressor because the way it's cut inside if you ever seen how a muffler has chambers in it on your ac components so it won't let a direct drop of liquid refrigerant be ingested into the spinning compressor because of the way it is so i have the vacuum pump on the high side it's sucking vacuum and we are down to 400 and some microns let me get the microns back up here yeah, right there, we're down to, oh, link tool. Why are we not linking the tool? Because I think, ah, oh, there we go. Link tool, 466 microns. So you're gonna see that get lost because there's gonna be a little bit of entrained compressed air in the system 
any moisture that might be in there. I already purged all the air out of this all the way up to the tip in here and dripped it out. So what little contamination there is. Nothing like this thing being open to the air for the last week. So you already could see that it already jumped just by me closing that off and what it gets in there. So let me put this, see if I could do this without dropping. So I'm always trying to find a place to sit phone and let you guys see stuff. There you go. Okay, so now I'm screwing this in. That's 45 milliliters. See right here, I'm screwing this in. I don't like this one too much. There's another one I think I want to get, but you'll see that in another video later on. It's a glass one. And, uh, okay, there you go. That's it. It's all in there. So now, there's oil right up to this fitting. And I don't take this fitting off because if it is uh, a weak spring, in the valve core depressor, it'll suck in air, and I don't want to suck in air. So, what I'll do, this is so kind of, doing this one-handed kind of sucks. So there you go. So that's filled with oil right up, right up to the tip, it's filled with oil. And remember, I told you, I don't take this off and put on another injector, because if that valve core spring is weak, when I take this off, it will suck in air so i do it this way when i do it when it's under vacuum so now i have the nitrogen set up so nitrogen's on let's close the vacuum let's close uh, the, this port because we're gonna chase this with a little you hear that i just blew nitrogen through the hose because i wanted to make sure i get no air in the hose so I just bled that out with pure nitrogen. I have this set up. I have this open, this open. So it has like 180 PSI of nitrogen in here, through here. I don't need a lot. I just wanna clear out that core. So this is filled up with solid oil. There's oil in here, oil in here. So when I draw a vacuum, I don't wanna draw this oil out. I'll give a little squirt and any oil that's right here is gonna fall down here and go in this direction towards the compressor and any oil that went in here will go further down into the evaporator. Yeah, I have 185 PSI. I'm gonna shut this off. So now there's 185 PSI of nitrogen in here and in here, that volume and what's inside here. So as soon as I screw this down, it'll clear it. Watch, see if you can hear it. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but there was a big whoosh and a squirt right into the system. And it looks like I lost, yeah, 15 minutes went by, so the battery saver timed out. And we'll go back. And we will now close off the low side, open up the high side, because we're gonna draw that nitrogen through. And we are zeroed. And we're gonna draw that nitrogen through the high side. So we're flushing through the whole entire system. So basically, the low side is closed, sealed right here. But we're drawing vacuum right here. But it's open to the high side right here that goes to the system. So we're, the little bit of nitrogen that went through here and pushed into oil here is being drawn, more of it's being drawn out of this oil because it's all traveling to the high side. And it's coming up the high side and going down and out into the vacuum. And you already can see we're into the microns again. So we went from atmosphere, zero PSI. Within these few seconds, we're already reading microns. So that's it on that. Uh, I could disconnect this and get it ready for refrigerant. And uh, don't forget looking. So once I do put, I already messed you up. I didn't show you the nitrogen or anything like that but you use this on your fittings, pump it up to 200 PSI because this is a new car and it's all micro channel, evaporator condenser. It could take 200 PSI on these newer vehicles. Use the big blue. When you put your O-rings in, use the nylog to stop vacuum leaks and lubricate your O-rings. And you got the Bluetooth field piece. All this is at True Tech Tools. And of course we got the best 
of the best of the Infracon leak detector. True Tech Tools, Lec Air, all capital letters, all one word, 8% off and free shipping, orders over $50. We'll get back to this when I charge it back up. 600 grams YF refrigerant. Be back in a minute.